Midnight Show with Tony Trujillo, and guess what? A lot of new space because we got some special guests here tonight. First off, for those of you who don't know what Restricted, Restricted Memories is, I got the guys that created it right coming down here. Grayson, Carl, please get down here. Drum roll on this one. <laughs> There's Carl and Grayson. We're going to explain to you everything. Oh, and we got an original coming on back on the show. Jacob S. Wine. It's nice to see you guys again. Yes, here we are. All right, so even though the, usually all I do is talk about stuff, that's what I'm going to do for the first minute, maybe. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do right now. I'd like to talk about something about what's going on in Libya. I don't know what's going on over there, so someone please explain it to me, because I really don't. I just don't know, and I don't give a shit. Uh, all right. Libya? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't know. They're, 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 uh, they're like... Look at this guy. Yeah, well, he's always in the yard. They're just bombing a ton of crap over there. <laughs> they're just like, oh, you know what? They're using and all that crap, and that's... Man, we're kind of like World War III or something. It, 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 That'd be horrible, like, you know, seriously, like, like, and we even got Egypt out there, too. Yeah. We got Egypt, Japan, Japan yeah. nuclear stuff. What happened with the nuclear stuff? Like, I like, I, I don't even know what happened with the nuclear stuff. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, like, you guys are talking about all this, and I'm like, what happened in Libya? Like, everything is just yeah. going to be just, like, down near the egg. Well, <laughs> anyways, I'm here with... Jacob S. Wine. Grayson Hurd. Oh, and this is the Midnight Show with Tony Trujillo. Enjoy. Now... Restricted Memories is a film that is about to come out, I don't know when, while well, Grayson okay. directed Grayson tell you about it, so just tell me, man, what is Restricted Memories about exactly? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I talked about the whole thing, but I'm going to... Go ahead. I'm going to make a... I'm going to go ahead and do a summary. So, Restricted Memories is based on mainly moral of a character. His name is John Peterson. John Peterson is the last Marine survivor of basically... of, a, of his of his own platoon, basically. He's a platoon. He's a, he's a sergeant. Uh, I don't know what he is, is he going to research or something, we're still trying, we're still in the works of making the story yeah. still, but um, um, somehow a separation happens between the Splatoon, it really doesn't show it in the movie, really, they don't really explain it in the movie, mm -hmm. it just kind of like, it, 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 the movie really explains itself in the movie, but um, like near the end and all kind of stuff, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'll just get back to the plot, so I'm, I'm getting on top of here, <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of that, um, but like I said, um, mainly just focuses on John Peterson and like um, mainly his losses, like like he mainly like it mainly focuses on like what he's going through, how he overcomes them, and all the mm -hmm. stuff like a new challenge is thrown at him every day. Um, he's in this post-apocalyptic, I'm saying right, yeah, post-apocalyptic yeah. species world, and these species are are pre-invented. So th th these species got invented like God knows how. Like they they got fused together. These are huge creature things living, and he's yeah. pretty much the only last surviving uh, man known of his kind. So it's kind of like throughout the whole movie, he's he's looking for something, and um, what he's looking for in the movie, he's, he's looking for his lost daughter. Because oh, okay. yes, yeah, he he he's gonna basically if he's 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 searching a post-apocalyptic species world, searching for his daughter and trying to um, <clears throat> trying to like like you know cure the whole world while he's doing yeah. it at the same time. I know. Protect the world and stuff. So. That sounds like an interesting movie. It is. Yeah. I know this is a little off topic, but you know, right. I'm getting with John now. I have to start that idea. Every badass in Hollywood is going to be John. You got John Wayne, <laughs> John no, McClane, John Connor, <laughs> John Spice, and you got all these guys. Well, like, well, 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 like, like, when I thought of the name, like, I thought of the name because uh, what, what am I, uh, my movie buddy's Ryan, uh, yeah. he, he's on YouTube with me a lot, and all kinds of like that. Uh, his, his, his actual grand, his, his grandfather's name, his last name is uh, Pearson, and uh, Rex oh, Pearson, okay. his name is Rex Pearson. So I just kind of like took the name, like, I mean, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but like, I just kind of incorporated the name and just kind of put John Pearson. Hey, I just put it together, yeah. you know? Like, it's just, just like, it's just like you're, yeah. when your name's John, you're automatically like a badass. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> Carl, you're playing the character of John, right? Yeah. <laughs> now I got a couple questions for you about this. First off, I guess this actually goes way back. First off, how did you two even come about this? Was this like something you've been planning for a while? Or well, it started it started out with this yeah. stupid movie called Teddy Lane. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Like we just randomly yeah. came up with the idea. Like it was just like weird. Like I, I remember me and Carl was sitting down one day, 
and here he is, he's like, we should come up with the movie Arrival. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, because like, first it was a stupid idea, because I'm just sitting there, like, and like, oh, like, I remember hearing the fish tank sounds, and stuff like that in his room, it was really old. Uh, and then he's just like, yeah, uh, uh, Rivals, and stuff like that. So we did this little promo poster where I have this P90, and he had like a Desi going on his head. Nice. And then we put it on, uh, we put it on MySpace, and stuff like that. We it was pretty it cool. Oh uh, yeah, we call yeah, we call it the rivers because we didn't know how to spell rivals. Yeah, so yeah, yeah so, so we kind of yeah, I instead of that. We stayed up yeah. all night. Uh-huh. And we exactly. only got two hours of sleep. Yep. So becoming this character, explain to me who he is exactly. So really. John Peterson exactly is the badass type. Mm-hmm. He's very intelligent. Like, oh, he's yeah. super smart. He knows what he's doing every second. Um, he 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 knows hand to hand combat. Mm-hmm. So and he's he, he's basically a monster. Okay. Yes. Like, yes. he keeps to himself a lot. He doesn't like talking to anybody. And even, like, when, like, so, like I don't, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, don't so spoil it. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, there's a couple parts of this movie where, um, they, like, I get almost jumped. Yeah, yeah. And I basically, like, the, the, the beginning of the plot of, of this was, I had a sword, so I was like, so we were taking it basically from, um, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I had a sword. Yeah, I, was a, uh, like, I was supposed to do this badass sword. I mean, like, and there's this scene, it's, it, you can see it on YouTube. Uh, uh, it's like the, the cheesy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, but, um, sorry, uh, back to me. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. Back, back, to the, j- back to me. I just want to cover up. Okay, John work. Peterson. So, like, what I've been doing for my character is, you know, he's a very he told me what I was supposed to do. And basically what I did was I started working out, you know, and get bigger, you know, because we were going to do a couple of things, you know, like that. And then, like, I'm supposed to look like a good adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, that, that, that's pretty much my character. I don't know, he keeps to himself. He doesn't like talking to people. Yeah. Um, him. how did... You, were there any difficulties trying to fit into the character? Were there any yeah, problems? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, this is pre right now. We've not, we haven't started filming yet. Uh, but like, you, 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 you can tell them all, like, like how you're starting to like how you feel. How are, right yeah. now. How are yeah. you? How are you developing okay. into your character? Me yeah. as my character, I feel just that way. There's, like any, like all the other movies we did, they don't feel right. I feel right. I feel right as John Peterson. Yeah. You know, and that's good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Basically, like. You know, I can get I can get in the character like that okay. with John Peterson. That's like, it's uh, just him. Like, like, you know, like, like, like well. last last week Friday, we, we were uh, doing some test shots with yeah. this camera and yeah. and like you know, I was like, let's let's do what it looks like. You know, I took off my shirt. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a, a he's a boss. And crazy. Man. You know, <laughs> since I've been working out, I, like I'm like, ripped. Yeah. Yeah. How do you toes get ripped? <laughs> <laughs> How do you toes get ripped? Yeah, like, well, like, he, he's, he's talking about, like, uh, No, no, I know. Like, here, here, let me just shut up something real quick. Go ahead, go like, ahead. uh, uh, Restricted Memories got invented. I just actually remembered, like, it was a long time ago. It was back in August 2009. I remember this day. Yeah, awesome. yeah, it's a long... Actually, when I made my first two, movie. Yeah, yeah, two years ago. It was yeah. a long time ago. And what happened was, we thought of the rival, I told you, uh, and all kinds of like that. But then, like, we started going in detail, and, like, we kind of blew the rivals up, because the rivals really wasn't working for us, you know? Like, like, like we were thinking of trying to tell how this is going to come into play, how yeah, it's going to come into play. Like, and at first, it was kind of like a game. Yeah, 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 exactly. Stupid. It was just stupid. So then, we thought of something. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't we just make a TV series? And he, he and Carl, like, he, like, does a certain stupid comedy. He's like, what are you talking about? Like, a, 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 a TV series. I'm like, dude, a zombie. Like, like, like I was thinking about a Nazi zombie TV series. Like, wouldn't that be pretty cool to do? Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and then I'm, we I'm came thinking up myself, like, okay, yeah. when we did that, we came up with a lot more than yeah, yeah, exactly. Because cause, cause we were doing previous, uh, what, what, uh, what we were doing was we were doing previous, uh, it's shows. Like that. Up yeah, I was basically the leading up to the restricted memories. And okay. we thought to ourselves, we need to make this legit. So we made it. We, it was first a TV show. It was it was the last Marine. He was he was uh, he he was the last person in the world, last only one of his kind. And this TV series was coming out. But then here we're thinking, wait a second, how are we supposed to make this like cinematic? We can make this legit. Why don't we just make yeah. this into a movie? So, oh, oh my God! So from there on, we thought of restricted memories, and we just started putting in uh, serious work. We started, we started writing uh, stuff down. We just started, like, we started really just, you know, like, incorporating ideas and like that. And now we're 2011, like, 
We're standing right here right now on June we're about to film so. Yeah, we're right. Right. Huh? Um, yeah. How did the name restrict the memory come to play? Yeah, is it is a is it a we were, okay? So we were sitting at my house, and you know I was just telling man, I was like, we gotta get we gotta get rid of. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, well, well, well the purpose is a whole different movie, so, so like, yeah, yeah, I was like, I was yeah. like, let's create a brand new movie. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, alright, and then he goes, he goes, he was restricted. I was like, and I thought about it. I was like, memory. Exactly. He goes, he goes, oh, this yeah, guy, you know, yeah. he threw a fit over that, and like, yeah. this is gonna be the best movie ever. Yeah. This is gonna yeah. be way better than Cracking Up. But, but, but first of all, like, my mind thinking was, wait a second, let's check the memories. Now we have to like, come up with the whole story about this. Like, we can't just make yeah. this about, you know what I mean, like, like the last Marine survivor. I mean, I Am Legend was probably already hard enough with Will Smith being the last person on Earth. I mean, like, and those movies are hard. Apocalyptic movies are hard to make. Right. If you're ever gonna make one apocalyptic movie, hard. It's it's super hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, you, it's, you gotta you gotta. There's so many factors. You gotta think about the factors. Like you also gotta start a new disease. Like how did? Yeah, why exactly. are they? Why? And like, that's a big thing too. Well, is like because every like every post apocalyptic movie. Thank you. I can't ever even say that more. Every post apocalyptic movie has a different sort of twist to it. I mean, all the zombie movies. I mean, those are cool, but they get too cliche. You want a different movie. Yeah. You want a different style of movie, and that's what I can see coming from the streets. Oh, yeah. definitely, definitely. So, like, okay, uh, let me explain the monsters. It, you know how they do, like, DNA testing, you know, change yeah. the DNA yeah. up, and, like, that's, that's kind of how we came up with it, but we came up with it, with it like, we took a little bit from the app, and we took a little bit from, yeah, like, Yeah, I could, I could sense that. Like, yeah, like yeah. We, get, we took, yeah. like, we took... It, a little bit from each movie, we took some book at Eli. And we're creating it to our own big idea. Yeah. So we had scenes where I'm like, like, you know, there's a couple scenes where we talked about, but we're not going to do it. Like, that one where I fight under the bridge, and then mm, yeah, I jump exactly, into yeah. the river because of, like, a big monster, you know, it's supposed to be like 10 feet tall, you know, mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. And, oh, yeah. like, um, and then there's supposed to be, like, a zombie thing. I'm supposed to be killing all that stuff. It's gonna be like really hard. <laughs> so it's not. It's, is, it, is, it, is it just one style of monster, or is it? No, well, it's, well, a, like, it's, 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 it's just a wide variety. variety. I, yeah, it's variety. Yeah, it's variety. It's basically, just, species. When it comes to species, I did my research. I swear to God, I I stay on my computer for about ten hours straight looking at species and oh my God, look at all this stuff. And were you yeah. thinking like, all right, all right, now no, imagine I'll, this mixed with this. Yeah, 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 exactly. But like a new sort of terror. But then like I was thinking myself like like what if these people like catch on to what I'm trying to think, you know what I mean? So I had to incorporate my own ideas. So what I did basically is a mouthful of shark teeth. Imagine a mouthful of shark teeth and uh, just kind of like squinted uh, black beady eyes. Like just like looking yeah. those black eyes and just like full of hate and, you know, and, and wrinkles it. everywhere, like all everywhere, it's just like veiny and it's just disgusting. Like you know what I mean? Like I saw that idea. And, and I was thinking of this big monster. I'm still actually working on the big monster currently right now. And this big monster it has three fingers and you know how it has webbing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. all kinds of like that, so it has good gripping. Yeah, we, uh, we, we thought of all that kind of stuff. Uh, we were just right. we thinking all about that. Well, I got this one more question about it. Okay, without giving any information on the plot away and all that, can you give me a couple, like, locations where you guys are shooting and like that? Are there... Oh, uh, we're... We are gonna... We, we're, we're possibly thinking about doing it here in Colorado, but it's very difficult, though, because we have to mainly, mainly make our own set. And what sets are, you know, you probably know what sets are. It's, it's basically a reenaction of, uh, like, of, of what the real thing is. Like, uh, we're, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. rebuilding the real thing. Um, I think uh, we're trying to cover up, uh, we're trying to block up the, I, uh, I don't know if you know where. Uh, up on, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, up on, uh, over there by the Tomahawk. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, that bridge right there. We're trying to block that bridge off. We want to try to do something like that bridge. I don't want to spoil it. Don't spoil it. It's, a, yeah, it's yeah. an amazing scene. Um, and um, somehow we, we're trying to destruct it. Like, and that uh, our, 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 our idea of that yeah. is because our friend Tristan, he's really going to help us out. Yeah. Uh, he said during like June, summer, mm -hmm. we're going to be, he's, he has like five different warehouses that he yeah. has to build. Yeah. It's amazing, we, yeah. He used to remake, remake that set, but we need a whole bunch of different lights. Like, you know, the big light, we got the big like camera lights, you got the, yeah. you know, you got to use the ones with covers so like, looks like the sun and stuff, you know. That's going to be like, really hard. We need like green screens. And yeah, yeah, all I that. Mean, I get that. Yeah, Alright, so I want to end this first segment with saying one last thing. After talking to Grayson about all this stuff and the movie production, even though it's 
not to him yet, but hopefully, <laughs> under his command, <laughs> uh -huh. I might make an appearance in that movie. No, no, we'll, we'll talk about that next. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that in the next one. Thing. One last question yeah. before the segment yeah. ends. Uh, is there any set deadline? Do you guys have a certain yeah, deadline? Well, yeah. September. September? Yeah, we have to, we have to make like film June. We have to get <laughs> July, <laughs> August, two months. September. Two months. We don't have too much of them. Because we're going to do, like, we're going to do four weeks of filming and then, like, three months That's of editing. Yeah. It's going to be a It's time to go out. It's going to be tough. But I expect big things from this movie. Yeah, I, I, I do. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I am. Do. Uh, <laughs> well, anyways, <laughs> go eat some popcorn. Do whatever you got to do. Because we'll this be segment right is over. We'll be right back. I'll stop the camera. I'll stop the camera.